With the 2017 events in South Africa, nobody got to witness the attacks. But they did get to examine five bodies. Alison Cock, Mary Rowlandson, and other local scientists were all present for the dissections of the eviscerated great white sharks. What was amazing about that first shark was the surgical precision of the orcas. There was literally an incision just underneath the pectoral fin where they can have access to the liver. And so they obviously sort of suck it out or something like that. It's just amazing that the orcas know that. We know that the orca has enough bite force to break through that pectoral fin. So they were holding it with just enough force to put those teeth marks there and then somehow tear the shark open and remove the liver. And at this stage, all we can do is speculate, but it's very possible that two of them could be tearing the sharks open. We've never actually seen the killer whales kill one of the white sharks. Um, and a lot of how we think they kill the sharks is actually taken from the case of the Farallon Islands in 1997 when they actually saw it happening. Peter Pyle's underwater footage revealed a lot about the LA Pod's predatory technique. You could see that there's this white scraping of all the skin off her head. And I believe what she did is rammed the shark very, very hard, kind of knocked the wind out of it. Now, once the white shark's at the surface, we believe that the one uh, orca will stay beneath them, keeping them at the surface. And then we believe the other orca will come along and deliver a fatal blow, perhaps turning it onto its back, putting it into a state of tonic immobility. It must be a, a case of trial and error that eventually one of them flips the shark over and realizes that it stops struggling if you put it upside down. They essentially fall asleep. With the shark now stunned, the killer whales finish the job. At which time the other orca can come, grab the pectoral fin, basically rip it to a point where they can get access to the liver and sort of suck the liver out the shark. And at that point, because they use their liver to control their buoyancy, the shark will sink and, and it will die, obviously. They were definitely targeting the liver. They can use their echolocation. They know the body parts. They can essentially scan a shark and pick out certain preferred tissue types. They knew what they wanted, they knew how to find it, and they knew how to get it out with the least amount of work. For Lisa, it's like deja vu. I see some parallels between port and starboard and our LA pod in that there are these whales that seem to really know what to do when they encounter these sharks and have those techniques down and be really targeting this nutrient-rich liver. 